happy Halloween week. Um, today, we're gonna talk about the importance of stay. Um, but first, I wanna show off this beautiful dress that my mom had in her closet. It's just so gorgeous. Like, look at that, so flowy. And yeah, just gonna take a moment to dance with it before we talk about the importance of stay. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at those sleeves. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna wear this all the time now. <laughs> Just found it. But anyway, we're, I'm gonna tell a story about my mom um, and her her dog. So, so honoring her with this beautiful purple dress. Um, and yeah. So why stay is so important. First of all, it just is like a great thing to do to, um, I'm getting a phone call, I gotta decline that, um, to just like if you wanna go into a store or like something like that, like, or, or, um, or you wanna cross the road, you can just put your dog on a, a stay and you can run into the store. And you know, some dogs can like, stay out for like an hour, you give them a bowl of water, you don't even have to leash them up. Um, obviously, there's not a lot of dogs like that. Um, even really well-trained dogs often we can't get there with. Um, but yeah, so that's like one goal. Another goal, like every, if you're walking downtown, if you can have them on a heel and you just have them sit, wait, or stay every time you cross a road, you know, all those kind of things. But today, I wanna like tell this story of, um, of my mom and her puppy. So my mom got this Border Collie, which was 13 years old, um, named Jetta. And my, first of all, Jetta was a dog with zero traumas, very, very well behaved, like naturally wanted to learn as Border Collies often do. Um, and my mom is an amazing dog trainer and she dedicated three hours a day to dog training Jetta. I never met Jetta, but like Jetta is legendary. There are stories about Jetta from everyone about like, she was just the perfect dog, it sounds like. Um, but my mom did take, spend a ton of time training her. So the story goes that her family was from Pennsylvania and they went to California. They drove across the country for a break and um, and to stay with some friends. And they, they left Jetta in the, in this fenced in yard for the for, for a few hours and they went off to do something. But they um, but Jetta just was kind of like freaked out and like lonely and so Jetta decided to head back to Pennsylvania herself, walk walk across the country. And I got home and Jetta wasn't there. And obviously that was like extremely panic inducing. So they drove around the neighborhoods looking for her. All They spent like an hour looking and they finally decided to hop on the highway. And she was walking home like the way that they came. She, she made it pretty far. And my grandpa was in the car driving. Um, by the way, you should look him up, Ted Newman. He died six months ago. He's an amazing physicist, an incredible man. Um, and my mom was, was sitting next to him and they saw her like on the, in the middle of this like six lane highway. My grandpa rolled down his window and screamed, Jetta, sit. And she sat, Jetta, stay. And he pulled over to the side and like was able to run through the cars and get her. And like, so, that's obviously a very unique situation. She was so well behaved and was so well trained that that was like, that's your goal, like to be able to handle emergencies like that. That you can have your dog stay in the middle of a six lane highway um, kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's, that's our goal. Anyway, wow, I'm getting so many phone calls today. This is crazy. Um, I know I've been talking for five minutes, but yeah, remember, don't discipline your dog. Meet them where they are, set them up for success. If they get out from a stay, just go woo, bring them back to where they were, put them back down, do a shorter, easier stay. Okay, good job. 
And um, yeah, thank you so much.